Good morning, Warriors. <laughs> Good morning, Instagram Warriors. <laughs> Good morning, Facebook Warriors. Good morning, Warrior Nation. How about that? Brittany. Yes. Do you have our weather forecast for today? No, I don't. Alrighty. Good morning. Oh, we should have told everybody that they're having trouble on Facebook. Go to Instagram. I, I forgot to say that. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Put it in the comment. Yeah, yeah. Tell them. Find out. We're, we're live on Instagram, too. Good morning. Hey. Come on, Judy. Pop that weather forecast in for everybody this morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody? Y'all, they're joining in on Instagram, too. So, warriors. Some of our warriors have, have been having trouble. Um, really, Brittany? Having, having trouble getting on Facebook. So, hey. That's all right. We just went to Instagram. So, Instagram seems to be flowing well. All right. How's everybody? What y'all up to this morning? How's the weather? Hi, Angel CC. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are awesome this morning. Good morning, Vanessa. How's everybody this morning? Let's see. It's 556. Y'all are up bright and early. How's the fast going for those who are doing the 21-day fast with us? Today is day 13. Good morning, classmate Keisha. Good morning from Brooklyn over here on Instagram. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? Buenos dias. Hola. I'm doing well. Move in. Glad to see you too. <laughs> Mississippi Queen, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Lisa. Bless you. Barbara Elaine, good morning. Y'all are awesome. All right, let's type in our weather forecast. Thank you. Crystal, it is subject to change. <laughs> Without any notice. <laughs> okay. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Scarlett. She prayed for us last night. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you. Amen. Shoulder to shoulder, we come together. Thank you, Keisha. Hi, Joyce. Good morning. Okay, everybody. So, Brittany's posting that in, and y'all can make that post, too, that for the for our warrior family who have been unable to get on on Facebook, we are also doing it live on Instagram. So, we're doing it. You're welcome. Um, we got on Instagram live kind of like, well, it was Brittany's idea. I didn't even think. I didn't even know Instagram was going live. That's how out of the loop I am. But, hey, we want to be wherever the people at. So, here we are. Um... Okay, Shana said her shirt ship. Whoa! I know how you feel because when my stuff comes, I'm excited too. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't forget to get your shirt. We're going to try our best, y'all. But even though we're going to be doing the shirts even after Ada, so no worries there. Just order your shirts and we'll get them to you as soon as possible. We've got a little over one week to Ada. Man, I'm super excited about that. So remember, even if you're not going to be with us physically, we really want you guys to pray next Friday night starting at 6 p.m. Just get somewhere. And just pray. Some some of the warriors are like teaming up with other warriors in the area. And y'all like going to have your own little mini prayer meeting to join in with us. And that is awesome too. Um, we will have the event videoed. It's not going to be live. But it will be videoed. And maybe that's something we can package up and release at a later date. But we do have a videographer that will be videoing the event. So I am excited about that. Because at first I wasn't even going to do that. So I'm excited about that. Hi Karen. Hi Sharon. Hi Tabitha. Hi Veronica. Um, hi, everybody. Hello, Faith Christian Center in Vicksburg, Mississippi. I love you guys so much. You guys are so totally awesome. So now you get a morning shout out every morning. Uh, good morning, uh, Regina. Shanine says she just ordered her shirt. Woo! A lot of y'all just ordered your shirt. <laughs> so we're thankful for that. Okay, y'all. Let's go ahead and tell the Lord um, thank you this morning. Let's just type it in. Good morning. Y'all so sweet. I can hear you on Instagram. Yay! <laughs> Father, we give you glory and honor this morning. Thank you for the Warrior Nation. Thank you that uh, you've just given us strategies on how to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we thank you for this morning. Lord, have your way on this video. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. We are listening. Our ears are inclined to your instructions. Please give us hearts that will obey your word and obey your voice. Father, thank you for the assurance in your word this morning that you are making a way for us, the Warrior Nation. You are doing it for us right now. Regardless of what it looks like, we stand in your word this morning and we trust that you are making a way for us. Father, let this video give you glory and honor to your name that you rightfully deserve. Father, we thank you today will be a day filled with miracles, signs, and wonders, breakthroughs, healings, good news, reconciliations. Father, we thank you. Deliverance, we thank you for this day. We ask you even now to dispatch your angels by the legions to go out in war on our behalf, to protect on our behalf, and to bless and we'll be careful and quick to give you all the honor and glory that you rightfully deserve. Father, we thank you for it is your air in our lungs. Thank you for giving us another day, another chance at life, another day to rejoice in the goodness of who you are. 
Thank you for this amazing study in the book of Daniel. Thank you for bringing your word alive and just for bringing a freshness to the Old Testament, a clarity to the Old Testament. We thank you for it. It is truly the work of your Holy Spirit. We honor you this morning. We love you. Type it in and say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Father. The warrior nation, we love you, Father. We are unashamed of the God that we serve. You are Jehovah Jireh. You provide. We call every need met today, supernaturally, in the name of Jesus. God, your El Shaddai. You lack nothing, bountiful in all things. You're um, Jehovah Sikhanu. You're the righteous one, God. You're Jehovah Nisi. You clothe us and wrap us in victory. You're Jehovah Gabor. You war for us, Father. We thank you for it this morning. We love you, we honor you, we reverence you, we magnify you, we exalt you. We say hallelujah. It's the highest praise. We give it to you this morning. Type it in, y'all. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise, God. Hallelujah. The highest praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Okay. Type in some hallelujahs. I love you, Father. I love you, Lord. He is so awesome. He never gets tired of hearing from his children. So we're just so excited this morning. So, y'all. Quick word. I got a little something I want to tell y'all. Um, we're going to be in Daniel 3, 27. That's it. Daniel 3, 27. I said we're going to stop it right there today. Uh, make sure you share the video. I didn't even pull up the weather forecast today. I am slipping, y'all. I was arguing with Brittany about the weather this morning. I thought she was going to pass me that. And, and then, you know, I don't like using Brittany's phone for the weather because it's confusing. You can't use it no way. Oh, sorry. I'm using her phone for Instagram anyway. Can't use it anyway. Y'all just keep telling God you love her. I'm coming. Thank you, Jesus. He is so good. I have to give you the weather. I, you know, I always joke and tell y'all somebody messaged me and said, why do you give the weather? And I said, because I want to. I just want to. That's why. Because I like it. I think it's cool. Don't y'all think it's cool? I think it's cool. Okay, here we go. Make sure this is today because, you know, this day could be telling me about yesterday again. Yeah, yeah, this is today. Right now, it's 60 degrees and clear in Jackson, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. I live in Jackson, Mississippi. 68 degrees. Fair. Feels like 68. It said something else at first. High of 82 today. Winds coming out of the north um, at 9 miles per hour. Sun came up at 5.53 a.m. and it's going down at 8.06 p.m. So we got sunny skies again today, y'all. High of 82. Low of 60. Kind of cool weather for June. Pretty interesting, but I'm not complaining at all because it gets really hot in Mississippi. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to jump into Daniel 3 and 27. Uh, make sure you order your miracle shirts, y'all. You know, if one or two people were saying something about the shirts, <laughs> that would just be one or two people saying something about the shirts. But when you have so many testimonies coming in about things happening supernaturally when they get their shirts, it's like, wow, it made me go get my shirts back out. I'm like, I'm wearing my shirts every day too, because whatever God is doing this season, I don't want to miss it. So with that being said, it's the Lord's doing. It is not our doing, but when I tell you, we are getting all types of testimonies about these shirts. So, y'all, get your shirt. We don't want you to miss out on whatever it is that God is doing. Brittany will post a link on how to order the shirts, um, and we'll get them out to you as soon as we possibly can. Let me say this. Um, a little over a week away from Ada. Happy birthday. Today is your birthday. Uh, birthday warriors. You're a birthday warrior. You want to wish you a happy birthday today. What else, Brittany? I miss anything? New people. And also, welcome all the new warriors to the page. We love you guys very much. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the page. Um, we have a little bit over a week left to Ada. And um, so I'm super excited about that. And we're on day 13 of our 21-day liquid fast. And the more that I've been praying and fasting, the more I have been impressed in my heart to pray that God will heal through me. Um, that's been my prayer. It's very strong on my heart. And as you, those of you who have been following the page for any period of time, don't worry because the lesson day is short. Remember, it's just one one verse. <laughs> but I want to. This is on my heart this morning, so I want to share. Um, you know, in the beginning of the year, we did a forty day fast, and I just knew that there was a place that I was supposed to get to, and I felt like I was being blocked. And I knew, I knew that that forty day fast <laughs> was gonna break through those mountains, through those walls that had us bound for so long. It's like we could get to a certain place and then we would just get resistance. We would get to a certain place and then we just couldn't go any further. And just, I knew that 40 day fast was going to do it. So for those of you who can remember at the end of the 40 day fast, um, the Lord touched my heart and had me to go pray for Avery. This is Avery, Avery Anderson, right? Precious, precious. Uh, Avery suffered a traumatic brain injury last summer. And um, we just, I'm still believing God for just total healing. 
Avery has done several mission trips to Haiti and has ded wanted to dedicate and is going to dedicate her life to missions. And even while she's being restored, she's still doing mission work, y'all. It's amazing that she's doing <laughs> mission work right now. But I said that to say, before the four-day fast, we were not going in the direction of healing. And I'm a strong advocate of fasting and prayer because I've seen what it'll do in my life. I I've seen what God says it would do in his word. And at the end of that four-day fast, the week of that ending of the fast, the Lord told me to book a flight to Nebraska. We had like, what, three or four days notice? Mm -hmm. It was the craziest thing. And he told me to go and pray for Avery. And so we have been praying for Avery on the video. Yep, Green Hearts. Let's post some Green Hearts today. So we have been we have been praying for Avery. That's what the Green Hearts represent for Avery. And then God said, go to Nebraska. You know, I was like, how do we even get to Nebraska? I thought I could drive. That's how much I knew. <laughs> so Brittany and I went to Nebraska, y'all. Three days. We had to book a flight within three days. We had three days to get there because the fast ended on that Friday. And that's the day the Lord told me to be in Nebraska praying for Avery. So we booked a flight, not just one. It took three flights to get there and back. It was the most exhausting trip I think I've ever taken in my life and so we went we stood on to let the coon we stood on the word of god and we believed when we i, I believe i'm just gonna tell you i felt like when i got there avery anderson was just gonna get up and say hello everyone like that's what i wanted so badly and so we prayed and, and she she did some things that she had normally done but she did not do what i had hoped she would do and it was disheartening and so you know I cried. We all cried. I mean, everybody was crying. And, you know, it was a beautiful time. Her family was amazing. And then on the plane ride on the way back, I was like, God, what is this? You mean you just had, I've, I've starved for 40 days. I'm just talking to God. Green hearts, y'all. I starved for 40 days. You sent me to Nebraska. I mean, I think we paid like $1,500 for the flight. I mean, just spur the moment, you know. Um, and then somebody blessed us with the money back for the flight. Thank you very much. You know who you are. Thank you. And, you know, I said, God, what is, why would you do this? And it's funny how God was sending you on a journey and it seems like nothing has happened. But on the way back, I felt in my heart that God wanted us to do more. Like that's, this is not the end. And so I'm saying all that to say that we kept conversing back and forth with Bodie, Avery's dad. And I said, Bodie, I feel like God wants us to come to Ada. Ada, Oklahoma is Avery Anderson's hometown. That is, is, this is not just about Avery, but I'm just telling you, this is why we are going to Ada. It's like, God allowed, for whatever reason, he allowed Avery to have this accident. People have been praying for Avery since last summer, believing that God's going to totally heal her. And I still believe it's going to happen. And I believe he's doing it right now. But y'all, had he healed her in Nebraska, we would not probably be having this revival next Friday night in Ada. Like in all of the people who are flying in from all over the country, maybe even the world. I don't know who all is coming. It would not be happening had this not happened to Avery. And so that's what it means when the Bible says that all things really do work together for the good. It's like even the things that we don't understand is because God has a higher purpose. So I'm saying that to say, then we took a trip to pray for Jahai in New Jersey. I wanted her to open her eyes. Uh, we prayed for Jordan's strength. I wanted him to just sit up and say, I'm healed. I'm delivered. It's like I wanted things to happen just like that. But I've been God has been teaching me that some things are processes. And it's not that he's not going to do it. But just because he doesn't do it when we want him to do it does not mean that it's going not going to be done. And so I'm saying all that to say, we're back in prayer again. We're fasting again. We're believing again. And we are going to see the hand of God move next Friday night. I'm telling you. And I do believe now, the second thing that I've been praying as a result of this fast is that this will spread. We said it in the beginning. And then we kind of shied away from it and said anything else. But now I feel it very deeply impressed in my heart. And I know after 13 days of starving that if something is deeply impressed in my heart, it is not Kelly's desire. It's God's desire. And so I just ask you guys to stand in faith. I can hear Brittany's stomach growling right now. It's loud. I ask you guys to stand in faith with me that this will travel. Because I believe that there are people all over the world that need to see the hand of God. Is Remember, the miracles are not for us who believe. We just get excited about the miracles because we know that God is a healer. It's for the people who do not believe. And so my prayer has been, Father, heal through me so that the people will believe. That's the prayer this morning. Okay, so with that being said, one more thing. As a part of that fast, on day 10 of that fast, I got a call, a breakthrough from the 700 Club and CBN. And that's how I ended up going on the going on the 700 Club and being with CBN and Charlene Aaron. It was on day 10 of that fast, I got that breakthrough. It's like, y'all, fasting breaks things. But in saying that, I, I have not shared this. I'm going to share this, then we're going to jump in really quickly. But um, I got a prophecy while I was there that I have not shared with anybody about a precious woman of God. <clears throat> and one of the things she said was, this is before, have we gone to pray for Avery yet? No. Because I was fasting on my birthday. This is before we were going to pray for Avery. 
She said, because of the miracles. This is before I had done any healing prayers other than just praying on these videos now. This lady, precious, she said, because of the miracles that are going to rise up out of you, there's going to come a season where you're going to be picked up and plastered on the covers of magazines because of the healing and miracles that are going to rise up out of you. Remember, I didn't know anything about healing and all that. I wasn't even, even going that direction until I finished the fast. She said, because of the miracles that are going to rise up out of you, you're going to be plastered on the covers of magazines. And she said, and because of the healing and miracles that are going to rise up out of you, the world will know your name, not just America. The world will know your name. And so I'm just saying all that to say, now, it's, it seemed like the trip to Nebraska was a blank trip. It seemed like the trip to New Jersey to pray for Jahai was a blank trip. It seemed like us going over to pray for Jordan in the rehab center was a blank trip. It seemed like the trip to Dallas to pray for Shania at the time, although God is already healing her, was a blank trip. And I was talking to Brittany this morning. I said, it wasn't a blank trip. I believe it was God saying, will you do what I tell you to do even when it doesn't make sense and even when you don't see the manifestation of the promise? And now God is saying, but now the time is here that you're not going to have to travel to people. People are going to travel to you. And so I just wanted to share that so that you guys can kind of understand where we are in this journey and that all these miracles that are coming up and everybody's saying they're putting on their shirts and they're being healed and delivered. It's not me. It's the anointing of God, but it is a promise he has made to me that for being obedient, there are going to be miracles that will continuously rise up so that people who do not believe will believe. Okay, y'all. We'll talk some more later about that. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Yes. That's my point on that. So I just had to share that it was on my heart this morning so that you guys can understand what this is all about. This is simply his word coming to pass. I did not see it coming. This is his word coming to pass. I promise you. All I know is God told me to create a shirt that says I believe in miracles. I did not know he was going to do all this. So with that being said, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Let's jump in quickly to Daniel 3, uh, 27. Type in God is making a way. He's making a way, y'all. God is making a way for me. God is making a way for me. Jumping in. We talked about yesterday how Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the fiery furnace. And then King Nebuchadnezzar looked in and was like, wait a minute, we put them in bound. Why do we see four people and they're loose walking around? You know, they were in the fire, walking around. They were not trying to get out. They were cool. We have to keep cool, calm, and collect even when we're in the fire. So I just love 27 so much. That's where I wanted to stop today. Then the high, this is so, you know, King Nebuchadnezzar goes as close as he can to the furnace. And he says, you know what, y'all come out. They come out. They don't come out saying, yeah, we did that. They don't come out saying, see, you shouldn't have put us in the first place. They humbly, we have to humbly come out of the fire. Let people be astonished at what God has done in your life. Don't go to bragging and saying, yeah, you thought you had me, but you don't have. No, just bless the Lord. The Lord has brought me out. We have to always give him the glory to his name that he deserves. In 27, it says, so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of the fire. Then the high officers, officials, governors, and advisors crowded around them, crowded around them, and saw that the fire had not touched them. Not a hair on their heads was singed, and their clothing was not scorched. They didn't even smell like smoke. You know why? Because God made a way. They were placed into the fire. The fire was turned up seven times hotter than anybody else that had to go in there, whatever the case may be. But God delivered them. It was the flames that should have engulfed them that God used. He would have it that those those flames broke loose their but what had them bound and they were able to walk free inside the furnace and they were able to step out and it was so astonishing like i always say for y'all i pray that god would do something so astonishing in your life that everybody had to say you know what it's god we can't even take the credit we can't it's nothing we can say god did it in his life god did it in her life and so much so that we want to bow down and worship the god that you worship because of what is happening is so amazing in your life god he is our consuming fire. And every other flame in our life, every other fire that is happening in our life, all it takes is one word from God and that fire will have to cease. It is God who makes a way. It is God's voice that divides flames. It is his voice that parts the sea for us. It is his voice that keeps us in perfect peace, even in the midst of hell raging on every side. God is making a way. And I want us to really understand that concept. It's simple this morning, but understand no matter what situation we're in today, it doesn't matter what it looks like, y'all. We just have to stand on the promises of God that this suffering would not last forever and just trust that God's exactly who he says that he is. And if he parted it for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, if he divided those flames for them, guess what? He is also dividing those flames for us. And we're going to come out 
and all the hell that you have been through, people are not even going to believe it unless you tell them because you're not going to look like it. it says the officials and the governors, everybody were looking and they were completely astonished because they know they had just been put in the fire with whatever y'all the garment on the turb. I mean, the whole nine on and they didn't burn because God, like I said, makes us fireproof in him. We will not bend under pressure. We will not break under pressure because we know that God, not only will he make a way, God is making a way for the warrior nation, for those who believe in him and confess that he is the Lord. He is making a way right now. Type that in. We're going to go into prayer. No matter what it is, y'all, no matter what it is, know that God is making a way. That's so satisfying. That's so peaceful to know that no matter what I'm in, no matter how crazy it may seem, the Lord always makes a way. He moves mountains. There's a song. <laughs> he moves mountains. He causes walls to fall. He causes chains to break. He makes a way. Father, we thank you this morning. Make sure you share the video. Father, we thank you this morning. God, I'm so excited. I'm thank you for our Instagram family who has joined us now. Man, I'm so excited about it, Father. You're just making a way. You're making a way for your word to go forth, no matter the obstacles, no matter the test, no matter the opposition. You always make a way for your sons and your daughters. And we thank you for that assurance in Daniel 3 and 27 this morning. As you made a way for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you are making a way for us. As you made a way for Esther and Mordecai, as you made a way for Joseph, as you made a way for David, and all the other greats of the Bible. Father, you too are making a way for your sons and your daughters this morning. And we just want to thank you, Father. We will not break or bend under pressure. We're fireproof, Father. We stand on your promise this morning that you are making a way you said a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand but no evil can come near us father because you hide us in your secret place god out of the reach of our enemies and so we thank you this morning god that no weapon formed against the warrior nation shall prosper and every tongue that is risen up against us god it shall be condemned in the name of jesus father we thank you that you're making a way we thank you that we are fireproof we thank you that we will not bend we will not break we will not waver in our faith we will stand and take you at your word and trust that you are our deliverer, that the battle does not even belong to us. It belongs to you. You fight our battles and you have already secured us the victory in you. And we just want to say thank you this morning, God, for making ways out of no way repeatedly you have turned our water into wine repeatedly you have parted the red sea for us repeatedly your voice has divided the flames that were raging in our lives and this morning we just want to say thank you for being so good to us thank you for being a deliverer thank you for being the god of breakthroughs thank you for being the god of victory thank you for being the god of love we thank you for this morning for being the god of grace we thank you for the power of your holy spirit that you give to us lord the wisdom that you give to us the favor that you give Give to us, God, the gifts that you give to us. God, you're so good to us. And we just want to say thank you. We humbly say thank you this morning. We humbly gather shoulder to shoulder the warrior nation before your throne this morning. We just cry out, thank you, Daddy. We thank you, Father. We just thank you for your goodness. Lord, we don't deserve it. We don't deserve your goodness. We don't deserve your grace. We don't deserve your mercy. But God, because you love us so much, God, so much that you sent Jesus to die for us, God, as an atonement for our sins. And because of his death, we have been reconciled back to you and we have access to you 24 7 and we just want to say thank you this morning Father, please go before my brothers and my sisters, the warrior nation, and clear their paths today. Make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low. Favor them, Lord. You've been answering this prayer that we've been praying every single morning. Lord, you're enlarging their territories. God, I thank you for this morning. Just place your hand upon them, God, your righteous right hand, and continuously push them into the places that you have just for them. Let them experience miracles today, God. Breakthroughs today, supernatural happenings today, unexplained phenomenon today. God, let them know that you are with them, that you are with well pleased with what we are doing as we step out into this dark and perilous world today we armor up lord with the belt of truth around our waist with the helmet of salvation with that breastplate of righteousness father we were sandals of peace we thank you for peace on every side god we carry this shield of faith we believe no matter what it looks like and the sword of spirit which is your word oh god let your word be hidden in our hearts that we will not sin against you we thank you for Avery, Lord God. Thank you for her life. It is because of Avery, Lord, that we have all come together for Ada. It is because of her, God, that we're standing on faith and believing you to be the God of miracles. And we thank you for her life, God. And we know that it is not over. And we just believe that you will completely restore her. And that one day she's going to be able to see what all you have done, even while she's been in her process of restoration and healing, God. Thank you for joy and strength that he is a mouthpiece for you. Thank you for Jehai McMath, God, that it's not over. We believe that you will restore her life so they can bring you the glory 
honor that your name rightfully deserves. Thank you for the great work you're already doing in Shania, God, that our trip to Dallas was in no way a blank trip. We thank you for it this morning, Father. We just thank you for baby Tonto and Mariah Grace, Lord, and our precious little London and baby Gabriel. And God, we thank you for the work that you're already doing in them. And Father, for the life, for the memory of Monica Sykes, our yellow hearts, we will not forget. And God, I ask you to just, on the days when Regina feels weak, on the days when she's unsure, God, let her know that you have not forgotten about her and that there's a higher purpose involved. Reveal that purpose to her, Father, and just strengthen her hands for the work. Lord, we give you honor and glory. And lastly, any prayer petitions that have not been posted, Warrior Nation on Instagram and Facebook, if you have a prayer petition, please post them in now as we begin to close out this prayer that God will see. And we already know that as he sees, he answers. So God, we thank you this morning. So many miracles have happened on our live feeds in the morning. So many people have posted things and before that day is over, you've already answered because we're, there's power in the prayer of agreement. So God, today, we just thank you, Father, for the prayer petitions that are going forth. God, we thank you that you're answering them in a way that will bring you the most glory honor to your name. And Father, I just want to say a special prayer for Charlene Aaron with CBN News this morning. God, I ask you to favor her, God. I ask you to bless her. I ask you to protect her and keep her because you use her to make a way for me. I ask you to bless CBN and the 700 Club because they made a way for me to come forth with the message you placed in my mouth. Please be with them and just guide them and everything they do, God. And everything they do may it always bring you glory and honor to your name, Father. We just bless you this morning. We stand in agreement for every petition that has come in, God, that you will ask answer in a way that will bring you the most glory and honor to your name. We thank you this morning, Father. Today is going to be an amazingly great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Warriors, Brittany's shaking her head. That means I did good. That means the Holy Spirit did great as he always does. Love you guys. Uh, get your shirts. They're on there. And I'll talk more about that tomorrow. I love you guys so much. I love you Instagram. I love you Warriors on Facebook. You guys just really make my day, my life. <laughs> See you in the morning, shoulder to shoulder before the throne. Have a great day. This is awesome. Thank you, Penny. I see that testimony. I'm going to capture it, too. Thank you for that testimony. Let me go back and get Penny's testimony off of there. I love you guys. Stay tuned for the Warrior of the Day at noon. Love y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome.